Andre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is I'm thinking we're going to do a, a fried fish. So it's an Escobese yes. fish. Yes. I'm the team captain, but I have to rely on Andre's expertise and knowledge. We can probably do aki with fried dumpling. Yum. Aki is the national dish of Jamaica, and it's super traditional. I know everyone loves it. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. You guys got everything? Yeah. There is no pressure quite like cooking for a wedding. Caribbean cuisine is some of the most exciting cuisine in the world. So many big, bold, bright flavors, such as jerk seasoning, sweetness of mangoes and papaya and Scotch coconut. bonnets. Scotch bonnets. Tony, the captain of the red team, is the soccer coach. So he's a born leader. Is there anything you want me to help you with here? No. OK, you call me, you tell me. Yes, sir. Right at go, they got four pants going. It's like an assembly line right there. We're working really well together. Andre is in charge of the hacky. Chrissy is getting the slot ready. Jenny is putting together the mango salsa. Alyssa is filleting the fish. This is one portion. You know, yeah. cut about 140, 150. Yeah, then if fair. we need them, then we use them. If we don't yeah. need them, we don't use them. Andre. Yes, chef. I tell you, I love hacky. Okay, yeah. because it's almost similar like to a. Uh, to uh, lychee. Yeah. Did you know that aki is poisonous? Yes, you I did. Know that. Yes, so, I did. Uh, you're not if gonna... you pick it too young, yes. it's poisonous. All right. Ripe aki is good. So nobody's going to get hurt. Nobody's going to get hurt today. Yeah. The seasoning, the salt, and all that is good. I think the heat wise, give it a you little know, more. You're going to be a little bit more aggressive. Okay, okay. okay. Because, hey, it's got to feel Caribbean. Okay. okay. The ceremony underway. There are only 15 minutes until service begins. Andre. Yes. Come over here, please run. This red snapper has to be cooked properly because it's the main part of the appetizer. I want all of them to look like that. All right. Nice and brown like that. If that's ruined, then we're ruined. Whoever can help on fish. Chrissy, what are you doing right now? I'm still working on the slaw. Well, let's hurry up, please. I'm stressed at this point because we're really getting behind. Chrissy. Yep. Chrissy. Yes. Right now, the fish is more important, Chrissy. The whole dish is important, I need important, your help, Tony. please. No, 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 no. She has to do that. We can't have 10 people on fish. If we don't fry I'm going to come with you. I'm going to help you with the fish. Uh, hurry up. Chrissy, Kay. put it at the end, and then okay. you're the last one. OK, well, I'm just saying it. I know. I need you to move okay. so I can do it. Chrissy. Everybody, we need to stop yelling. Just talk to each other, guys. Don't get upset. Just do Tell me what you need. Guys. Those aren't done. Those don't, not, those don't have the seeds on it. Oh, Andre, just shut up, please. No, help out okay. with the sauce. Sh shut the hell up. Don't talk like that to each other, please. I don't even know who this Tony is. This is not my Tony macaroni. Where is the sauce? Right here, right here. Tony, I'm just in the zone trying to Chrissy, hurry. That's Chrissy. all, okay? Of course not. You and me, we don't fight. Don't We're good. We're good. I know my personality. I want the people around me who are calm, <laughs> they are cool, and they do their work. It's not easy being team captain. Keep your head up. I know. So I picked a good team. Yeah, baby. The guests will now sample each team's appetizer. The red team's red snapper escovich with aki and jicama slaw. I really like the red team's aki and red snapper. That, to me, it just tasted like my grandma's cooking on a Sunday. I thought it was pretty authentic in terms of the taste. Uh, the plating was very nice as well. As you can see, I practically finished it already. You got the red appetizers. The aki is very, very explosive when you eat it. It's really, really good. The red dish is uh, very flavorful. So the first appetizer I'm going to show you is the broken avocado salad. Avocado has to be beautifully ripe, cut into quarters, and then a good squirt of lime juice, white beans braised down in a vegetable broth, little sticks of jicama. Next, a little kohlrabi, chayote squash, a little sherry vinaigrette. Just give that all a good little toss. It's just so smooth for him, but for me, it's like, OK, like, wow, step six, step seven. Blood orange. There is nothing more I love in life than some beautiful jamon, the broken avocado salad, showcasing great ingredients and great care and attention. It looks like art. It's beautiful. The second appetizer I'll be showing you is going to be clams and chorizo. A taste of home. A little bit. I feel like I'm in my mom's kitchen. I'm Portuguese. This is what we eat. And it all starts off with slivered garlic and oil and some flavorful chorizo. These are called savory clams. They cook quite quickly. A little splash of diced tomato, adding that sweet note. Whilst the clams are cooking, onto the beautiful calamari. Chef Michael looks like he's been doing this since birth. 
I want that calamari to cook instantaneously in a cast iron pan, just like that. Taste as you go, remember, home cooks. Taste as you go. A little drizzle of finishing oil. Simple, clean presentation. Look at that. Clams and chorizo. Ugh, I want to eat every single plate. All right, guys, we got this. Let's get it going. The teams have no time to spare. The VIP guests are arriving, and service will begin soon. Welcome to Lenya. Both teams are pushing hard to prep their appetizers, clams and chorizo, and broken avocado salad. I'm going to do a test here, Josh, and then you can OK it. Do it up. We're going to succeed together. We're going to fail yeah. together. Yeah. And that's not an option. OK, we have orders in. Red team, one avocado salad, one clam and chorizo. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. I'm going to have Chanel do the uh, broken avocado salad, and I'm going to do the clams. This is way too hot, way too hot. And then what I'm going to have Jennifer do is go back and forth uh, in helping us. Do, how are we doing for avocados? Do we need more avocados? No, we're good. Kate, how are you doing, Josh? Good, good, good. Blue team, one avocado salad, two clams and chorizo. I'm doing the clams and chorizo. Woo! It's something I've eaten often, I've made often. It's a no-brainer. Blood orange, and then we got pumpkin seeds. Order up, chef. Well done, guys. This is looking good. Blue team, order fire. Two broken avocado salad, two clam and chorizo. This is a lot harder than it seems. Blue team, did you hear me? Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, chef. We're going to have to scrap this batch. They didn't open? Uh, a lot of them didn't, no. No? No. The clams are just not opening fast enough. OK, Chrissy, I need you to push on those clams. OK, yes. Yes, chef. It's feeling really overwhelming that I just can't get them out fast enough. Let's go, let's go. So close. My team is saying, we got clams coming. They're not coming. Chrissy needs to get on it pronto. I need clams. I'm the team captain, and I'm going to sink this team. We, we got like six clams all day. I thought there was just the four. My blood pressure is rising fast. The avocado salad, it's really delicious. So I have the clams and chorizo. It's really good. But halfway through the appetizer course, the blue team yeah, is yeah. struggling. Blue team, I need those clams, please. Get it together, woman. Chrissy, I need this out a little bit faster. Keep it on the heat. Make okay. sure you got enough liquid in there. Thank you. Those clams will open up to you. Let's get that heat up. You know clams. You know all of these flavors. You know what you're doing. That's good, and it's hot. All of a sudden, I find my groove, and we are busting out appetizers. Two clams, chef. Nice looking chorizo and clams here, Chrissy. Your rush order is up, Thank chef. you. Here we go. Here we go. Here, plate this. Josh, is there another piece of tentacle for this uh, calamari and chorizo? I need another squid. Service. Have you got another squid to grab me? Yeah, here you go. Yeah, just right here, right here. Put it in here. Being the team captain, there's a lot of pressure. I don't have the time to, to stop what I'm doing and turn around just to double check everything. I'm kind of relying on my teammates. Can I get a bit more broth in these clams? They're too dry. Yes, yeah, chef. More broth. It's got to be more, more soupy. Hurry it up, because those clams are going to get cold. Yes, chef. Chef Michael is looking for perfection. The avocado is up in the window, so one clam and chorizo, and your appetizers are done. Woo! Well done, Red yeah. Team. Come on, guys. Home stretch. Home stretch, guys. Plate. Congratulations. You have all your appetizers oh out. Gosh, well done. I have the uh, Red Team clams and chorizo, and I think it's delicious. I'm loving the, the red team salad because of the experience of the textures, from the softness of the avocado to the sweetness of the orange. The blue team's appetizers, clam and chorizo, is incredible. It's packed full of flavor. So I have the blue team's avocado salad. Visually, it was really nice. Very, very tasty. OK, so I got these little guys. What worries me about the challenge is doing enough justice to these really special ingredients. Like, these are so delicate. Yeah, yeah. I think they'll be really yummy. I'm just going to do my best not to mess this up. OK, ready to party? Uh, yeah. OK. Let's talk about the teams. I'm sure it came as no surprise that Andre chose Jennifer. We should start with a pemmican, like yeah. right out of the gate. We can pair that with uh, some bison. Yes. Jennifer is very imaginative. Almost everything she's created has a story. I'll get started on the corn. And I'm always thinking of new ideas and new techniques. So I think we could create something very special. We're making a pemmican-inspired corn and bison. Pemmican was an indigenous way of preserving food that you could take with you if you had to go out hunting for a very long time. It would be traditionally meat, dried berries, like nuts, often corn. So we're just really celebrating all the ingredients that would have originally gone into something like that. Andre's going to work on some bison later, and I'm working on the corn. 
Chef Joel has given us mandamin. It's a white corn. And I think tying it in with like the pemmican idea is really special. 14 minutes. I'm just going to take off enough for the first couple steaks. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just kind of trying to set things up for Andre, because I know he's working really hard on getting that cake done. How do you time this thing? I get the cake in the oven and start working on that meat. I have to make sure those steaks are perfectly cooked. And then I have to make a great pan sauce. Oh, beautiful. I've come a long way. Before this, I was working in the hospital, doing my regular routine. And now I'm top four in MasterChef Canada. Being here is making me realize that cooking is where I should be. Wow, <laughs> it smells delicious. OK, describe your first course. What are you doing? We're doing um, a pemmican-inspired uh, bison and corn. Nice. Have you ever cooked bison before? Never, chef. OK, feel that. What's that telling you right now? Feel that. Yeah. Feel that. That's well done. What's that? That's rare. That's rare. OK? So I got to be in the middle. To your food. OK. Even cut a little piece, look inside of it, take a peek, and see what's happening. Thank you, chef. OK, good luck. How is it? Oh, yeah, a little longer. A little longer. Yeah, yeah. There's five minutes left. I got to put it back in the pan and start basting some more, cutting it really close. Oh, you know what? I have to make that sauce. Beef stock and wine? I realized I forgot to start making that sauce. So I throw some stock in, and I start reducing it down. This dish is going to be the judge's first impression. It's do or die. I need to make this sauce in under a minute. It's do or die. Dude, I'm just going to start getting uh, some of this down, OK? Yep, go ahead. Tastes good. OK, I'm going to strain it off, and I'm going to yep. pour it in. Awesome. This is such a huge privilege to cook for luminaries of indigenous cuisine. I just really hope they like it. Amazing job, Andre. Awesome job. All right, okay. round one. So what do you have in front of you from the red team? A pemmican-inspired bison with corn. So please enjoy. I am very, very impressed. These dishes look like they came from a professional kitchen. The red team, the pemmican-inspired corn. I'm a huge fan of Iroquois white corn, and it's front and center. It was incredible. I agree. On the red team, they've really done a good job with the white corn. You really do get the smokiness. Garlic. May the best home cook win. It's going to be Andre. <laughs> What else? Onion powder. He moves like a chef, acts like a chef, talks like a chef. He's capable of such great things. I'm working on the rundown. So I got a head, a tail. Oh, yeah, boil it. I'm doing this for my dad. He always made rundown at his restaurant, and it would fly off the shelves. That's going to cook up a bit. Hi there, Andre. Hey, chef. So tell me about your appetizer. A rundown is basically fish cooked down in coconut milk. And today, I'm elevating it by putting lobster with a kalaloo curry and boiled dumpling. So I'm assuming that you've cooked lobster this way before, maybe? Never. Never cooked lobster? Never cooked lobster. Do you think that was wise, pulling lobster out on such an important night like tonight? I got to pull out all the guns today, so. Taste every element, right? Yes. Seasons like a king. Roz, I need a sous chef, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making the dumplings today like some gnocchi. It should take about five or six minutes to get a nice cook on it. Dumpling time. I'm looking down at Andre's station, and his dumplings aren't boiling. If they sit in just warm water, they get tough. I don't know what's going on with it. Not a good move. That's not good. I'm trying to shoot for the stars right now. I cannot make any mistakes today. Oh, dear. My water's not boiling. Oh, dear. You need that heat of that water just to almost put a seal on them and allow them to cook slowly from the outside into the center. I want to make sure that it's cooked properly. So I change burners, and I put it on the blast burner, and I crank it up. Good. Do your thing. Look at those tails of lobster that he's just cooked. They look spectacular. He has amazing intuition. Oh, nice and soft. I'm going to start plating. Thank you. I don't care that I never cooked lobster before. This is my last cook in the MasterChef Canada kitchen. You got to go big or go home. First up for tasting is Andre's Lobster Rundown with a coconut callaloo puree on a bed of boiled dumplings. I love what I see on the plate. It's Caribbean Carnival. It's all about those great colors. And I think the proportions are really spot on. You can see there's a lot of imagination behind the dish. It is 
a good balance of savory, sweet, bitter, and you can identify it all. Nothing is overpowering each other, which is very, very important. You can see the lobster is perfectly cooked. I can't believe this is Andre's first time ever cooking a lobster. This caldo puree. It is silky smooth, and I like the coconut reacting with the usually very bitter flavor coming from this very leafy vegetable. There's only one misstep in my opinion. The dumplings are slightly tough, and that's because his water was not boiling. Oil. What most impresses me about Jeffers is how poetic she is with her food, the way she conceptualizes it. It's really, really unique. I just want this whole thing, actually. I am making fancy ants on a log. A traditional ants on a log is you take a log of celery, you fill it with peanut butter, and then top it with raisins. It's a fun way to eat some vegetables. <laughs> Growing up, this was a snack that I had in my school lunch, and I just didn't think there was anything cooler than ants on a log. Jennifer. Hello, chef. Ants on a log. So how are you going to make it great? This version is with blue cheese, a celery juice vinaigrette, and pork poached eggs. I really want it to look like a bit of a sculptural art piece that you get to eat. Okay, well, you have always inspired us and impressed us with your beautiful plate. Thanks so much, chef. And don't let those ants run loose, eh? OK. 100% the hardest part of the appetizer for me is the celery. I'm a little worried because it takes a lot of skill, which she has, to elevate such a humble vegetable as celery. Because the backbone of this dish is celery, and Andre's is lobster, I have to allocate a lot of time and love and care into this celery to make it the best celery the judges have ever had. If she can pull this thing off, she's gonna wow us. Hey, okay. Yeah! Celery looks good. Thank you, thank you. We are moving. Time is the most important ingredient in this kitchen. Jennifer, what's next? I'm gonna make a blue cheese mousse. We just stay focused. You got it. I still have to do so many other components. Almost, almost, almost. My brain is just in this mode. Good job, Jennifer, good job. Everything has to be beautiful because this is such a simple dish. More salt. I want all of the bites to be perfect and all of the bites to be just a little different. Okay, here we go. That looks amazing. Wow. Thanks, guys. I think the way I treated every element on this plate makes it a finale-worthy dish. I hope so. Fancy ants on a log made of pork poached figs, a celery brunoise, and a blue cheese mousse. She has taken a very childlike dish and elevated it to restaurant quality. I look at it, and I can't wait to tuck into it. It seems almost simple in the beginning, but once you taste it, you realize the complexity, the fine detail, and the finesse to it. In there, you get so many complex textures. I get the crunch from the, the walnut and the celery. And then you have the blue cheese, full of flavor, but it's also balanced. It's very hard to balance blue cheese. There's so many different juxtapositions happening on this plate. It's a really, really smart dish. I mean, this is the kind of dish that you could see and may I say, a Michelin-starred restaurant. This is just spectacular. When I tasted the lobster, I thought, how is a celery and blue cheese dish going to compete with a dish of Andre's caliber and quality? Any ingredient in the right hands can be sensational. <laughs>